to a man that's always ahead of the curve, Chef Mark. So what are you cooking today? Well, today I've got lamb on the menu and we're going to glaze it in some balsamic vinegar and a little bit of brown sugar. So it's all going to be sticky around the lamb. It's going to be great. And we're serving that with a nice textured salad. We've got blue cheese, we've got apple, we've got celery, pumpkin seeds, and my favorite, lentils. Look at these. A little bit underrated, but I love them. And they go fantastically well with the lamb in this salad. And now it's over to Holly. Thank you very much, Holly. Well, we are in the cafe kitchen, and joining us is David Corios. How are you, mate? You I'm good. good. Oh, that's really lovely. Good. Look at that. <laughs> I'm excited to cook with you guys. <laughs> I'm a little flustered now. <laughs> okay. Um, why are you hanging on to three coffee cups? Oh, because I'm just I'm really excited to. Um, they they gave it. I don't know. <laughs> do you want one? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll have one. Oh, which one do I take? It's going to get messy, isn't it? That one. This okay, one's nice. done already. Okay. Good. Is this is this hot? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, don't be, oh, now hot. it's got coffee flavoured <laughs> chops. <laughs> it's getting hot. Right, so first job, we're going to yes. cook the lentils. Okay, okay cool. so cold water. You so said lentils are underrated before. Yeah, I think everyone, as soon as you say lentils, I think people go, oh, lentils. But well, it's I, about I, how, I like you, them. how, yeah, how yeah. you do them, eh? It's about how you cook them. If you cook them and they're all mushy, then you can say that. Right. But uh, we don't want that, so we want to uh, we want to keep the shape, mm -hmm. have a nice little bit of texture, but soft in the middle, you know? It doesn't yeah. look crunchy, but holding the shape. So cold water, a little bit of salt, Pop them in, and then you just want to sort of slowly bring it up to the boil. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Slowly bring it up to the boil and just simmer it as slow as you can do it. Why? And then keep checking it because you just want to, because if you cook them with too much heat, they're just going to explode. Okay. And all the shells oh, are right. going to crush. So you want to. Do you, you want to mushy or like do you want it like. No, no, no. We want, we want them to look like that but cooked. Nice. Oh, yeah, oh right. we'll show you later. Okay. Right, Are you a and then uh, fan? Lamb chops. I'm a big fan of lentils, but yep. I'm a bigger fan of these things right here. I know. Oh, good. <laughs> Tell us right. about the mark. Right, so we got <laughs> so this is lamb, right? So we got some lamb chops, right? So you can just buy the rack of lamb and then you just cook down, and then you've got the little bone to hold onto it. The kids love these. Yeah, you know, like meat these. lollipops. Oh yeah, it's brilliant. Mm. it's brilliant. And adults, you know. <laughs> so we can just get like that. Uh, it's going to give them a light seasoning now. A little bit of olive oil. Why do you throw the salt from such a high distance? Uh, so you get even <laughs> coverage. No, it's a good question. Oh, so yeah. actually, if you do that and you throw it from there, look, like look, ah. that's going to be that's going to be over salted. Jeez. And, and if, but if you do it like that, even coverage. And you look dope, man. Because <laughs> you're like... <laughs> so, so it's been a year, it's been over a year, and Mike's never asked that question. Okay. <laughs> so I was just taking some notes before, yeah. Um, right, so big pan. Why do you throw the olive oil? For, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just for even coverage. Oh, right. if, you, if you do it like this, then it only goes right. here. So you want to... Uh, yeah, even coverage. <laughs> Thanks. That's it. Uh, Look at this, we're cooking now. Right. So we're going to deep fry the lamb now. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's put too much oil in. Right, okay, so we're going to get good. this really hot, right? And then um, if you're going to do lots of lamb, do it in two batches. Why is that? Because you want more space for them to cook. Exactly, and the temperature's all... not going to go down. God, you've done, the, you've done this before, <laughs> haven't you? I'm a big fan. I'm actually a big fan of food. I love food. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Right, so yeah. you've got that sizzle, so the sizzle's good. Oh. So pop it in. So get them in, a couple of minutes on each side. Yeah. You know, if that, we want to get a nice colour, so we're using like really high heat. It's not going to take long to cook, and we can serve the lamb nice and pink in the middle, so we want to rest it, obviously. So, like, how do I know when it's cooked on the other side? Well, we're going to we're gonna prod it. Right. We're going to use right. our fingers and prod it, what and that's going to tell us. Right, so if you get, you get a piece of meat like now, mm. and if you prod it now, so if you just have a, have a good prod, we know that's raw because we can see yeah. it's raw, but you can see there's no resistance at all, you know? It's, mm. So it's just like that, and then as we cook it, it's going to get tighter. So once right. we get a nice colour on it, we'll prod it, and we'll get a nice little spring. Cool. So, uh, like, <laughs> is lamb like chicken? Can you eat that raw? Chicken, you can eat chicken raw if you want, but you get sick, apparently. Well, My yeah, you don't, <laughs> don't want to do that. Make sure you cook your chicken through. No, no, so beef and lamb, you cook it nice and pink, uh, medium rare, or even rare, or a little bit longer to your liking. Right, right. And um, obviously chicken, cook it through. Um, but you see, it's starting to get a nice little caramelisation on there. Oh, so it's going to flip that over. That's good. You know, that's only been like a minute or so. Yeah. You know? We'll give it another minute or so on the other side. We'll give it a little prod. Might be another sort of 30 seconds in the pan. We'll let it rest. We'll take it out, let it rest, and then we'll make a glaze around in the pan a little bit later. And is that that balsamic glaze that yeah. we're going to do? Okay, yeah, nice. Yeah. So, so we've got some balsamic vinegar here. And where does got... the blue cheese come into it? Uh, so that's going to be a salad. So with all these ingredients, we're going to make a salad. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, really, really simple. You picked a good day to come. I love food. Yeah. I really, I love Actually, lamb. Every day is a good day with Mark. In there the you kitchen. go. And then, so have a prod now, so you can you can feel. You know, it's getting a little bit it. more resistance. 
So that's rare oh, at yeah, the moment. Yeah. yeah, that's rare, yeah, soft. So we're going to yeah. cook it a little bit more mm -hmm. and we'll get a nice medium rare. OK, nice work. Well, if you want the recipe, go to thecafe.co.nz. More of Mark's top tips for getting that sticky balsamic sauce perfect. Straight after we catch up with Holly, who's with Martin Cooper. Coming up very soon, we're going to be catching up with this guy, find out more about his upcoming show. But he has joined us in the kitchen. Uh, we are cooking chops. <laughs> mm. It looks so good. It smells good too, right, doesn't it? Have a little prod of these ones yeah, now, because they, they are done now. See yeah. that nice spring? Yeah. Oh, yeah That's okay, what you cool. want. So we're going to take them out. Mm. So important as well with meat, let it rest. Mm -hmm. Okay, so give it another... Why, you, why do you rest meat? Because so I want to eat it straight away. <laughs> 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 well, you want to let it rest, and it will relax. It will be tender, it will be juicier, oh. and it won't be as hot. Because if you eat that straight away now, you'll probably burn your mouth. Yeah. It's uh, not uh, enjoyable. I'd be I could eat it right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Challenge. Challenge. Chop lollipop. Mm. OK, and how are lentils go? All right, so the lentils are just coming to the boil, so you really, really want to just have a really low heat. So do okay. it a little bit longer, a low heat. Even that little bubble is probably a little bit too much, so I'm going to turn it right off. We'll put it on your lowest ring mm -hmm. and just really do it slowly, and then you'll get a nice, even cook through the lentils. Where can you run into trouble with lentils? Well, if you just cook it... Um, if you cook them too long... <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks for giving it to me, really. <laughs> yeah. tea, honestly. Um, too high and too long. Right. You're just going to, you know, you're not going to get an even cook and it's going to be mushy on the side, still going to be crunchy in the middle, you know, so right. you, and it's just going to ruin the whole dish. So just really take your time on that, nice and slow. And what we're saying before is, like, you know, when do you start everything? Obviously, the lentils take the longest. Um, so cook your lentils first, yep. drain them off, let them sort of cool down slightly and then you can start cooking your lamb because the lamb does not take long to cook at all. Right, and then all you need to do whilst you, you know, your lentils are cooking and your lamb's cooking, we just chop some um, garnish up for the salad. Nice. So, so a nice, uh, nice bit of uh, celery. Oh, your knife skills are great. I know, they're so, amazing, eh? Can you do this? Oh, no, I can't. No, I'll, I'll show you, I'll teach you. Oh, right. yes. So, so, fingers, yeah. put your fingers on it, so you're holding whatever you're going to chop, and yeah. then the tips of your fingers, you need to pull them right back, because you don't want to cut them, and then... Because you, you oh, then you've got your thing as the guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, so, yeah, and you're going to use that part of your finger yeah. as your guard, so, you, so your knife's going to go on there, and then your tips are really far back, and then you're doing that rolling motion. So, you're so going it's down, not like a... Back. Bang, bang, bang. No, no. So you can see the, the knife is always touching the board at yeah. some point. OK, and then you can just roll and just slice and, you know, have a chat. Don't oh. need to laugh. Great. You need a show off, eh? Hey. Good. <laughs> Do you want to give it a crack? <laughs> Do you want to go? OK. Have a go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you pull it back. Always rolling. We got a yeah, first aid kit. So rolling. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So always have the, have the tip on there. Tip on there, yeah. Yeah, and then go, that's it, go back. So when you pull the knife back, you want to be put in there. That's it. Oh, look at that. There you go. You're a little Oh, star. I can do it without you... looking as well. <laughs> look at that. No blood. No blood. No finger anymore. No, just <laughs> joking. Oh, 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 where's the girl? Yeah. Oh, that's good. And I'll tell you what, once you get them that thin mm, and you, you speed up, it's such a good feeling. Mm. Is it? Oh, I haven't got that far <laughs> <Yeah>. yet. <laughs> OK. Celery, right, I'm so cooking we, the chops. So you've got the celery, so, you know, it's up to you now. You know, you can slice it thin as well. Mm. Um, but it's quite nice to have, like, a salad, have some different textures in there. So it's nice, it's nice um, especially with apple, it's nice to eat a cube of apple, you know? Yeah. So you get that So why, would you, why would you cube apple and cut celery really thin? Well, because you get, you know, you still get a nice crunch from the celery, even though it's nice and thin, mm. you know, and it's quite a strong flavour. But then if you, I mean, you can do the apple really thin as well. It's really nice. But if you find, if you find if you do it as a cube, you actually get that crunch, you know, when you bite into an apple. Oh, nice. So you get that. So you, you just got to think about your ingredients and your, um, you know, how you want to cook them and how you're going to eat them in the, in the finished sort of product. Mm. Right, we'll take these out. Yep. And then oh. we want to... To our balsamic. Well, I'm just going to... So we got all this fat as well, because we're cooking the lamb, so all the fat's rendered. Yep. So I'm just going to... Uh, Tip a little bit out. Yep. Okay, it's nice and hot. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm just taking the pan off the heat, and we're going to put the balsamic glaze in there now. Oh. All right, so we've got the lamb chop and flavor. a little bit of the sugar. Yeah, so you oh, that's that pan. heavy. It stings you. Woo! It's like a hand. And then you know, if it's too hot and it's reducing too fast, just put, put a splash of water in. <laughs> you know, you've got all that heat in the pan. Give it a good mix around. Make sure all the sugar's uh, dissolved in there. You know, you don't want to burn it, you want to get a nice glaze. Yeah. If you burn it, it's going to be bitter. Mm. You know, it's just coming up, it's nice and sticky. Pop your lamb back in, oh. just quickly, and then that's just going to glaze the lamb. And then if you look at that... Oh, look at that. Toss around and look at that. <gasps> so it's Beautiful. nice and glazed, you've got all that flavour around it. And then we're just going to serve it with a salad. 
So Do you chuck the salad, salad in the pan as well? No, <laughs> no salad's going in the bowl. <laughs> okay, no. Oh, now to our resident fox in the kitchen. Wow, Mark, how's the sticky <laughs> lamb looking? <laughs> it's great. We've just glazed it. We've dressed the salad, just a little bit of olive oil. We've put the blue cheese in, and there it is. Look at that. Oh, brilliant. Wow. 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 Okay, what are you doing tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I've got soup on the menu, tomato, white bean and sausage. Awesome.